In a previous Arduino project, external EEPROM was used, namely AT24C256 EEPROM, which added non-volatile storage to the project. In this video, the internal EEPROM of the AT Mega microcontroller will be explained and programmed. Data will be stored in the internal EEPROM and used in a practical application. The internal EEPROM of the AT Mega microcontrollers is used for storage of non-volatile data that can be used by a running code. The AT Mega 328 chip has a 1 kilobytes of EEPROM while the AT Mega 2560 has 4 kilobytes of EEPROM. The memory organization of the AT Mega 328 microcontroller found in the Arduino Uno and the Nano is shown here. We have 1024 memory locations. The address of the first location is 0 and the address of the last location is 1023. Each location can store an 8-bit number or a byte, and the integer value would be between 0 and 255. This program looks at the memory organization of the AT Mega 328 EEPROM. To access the EEPROM, we need to include this header file, and inside the setup function, we need to determine the size of this EEPROM, how many bytes. So we use this uh, function eeprom.length and uh, display the value on the serial monitor. The for loop here scans through all of the 1024 memory locations of the eeprom. Now the address of the first location is 0 and the address of the last location is 1023. This function eeprom.read reads the content of the memory location I and displays it on the serial monitor. Now the content is an 8-bit number or an integer between 0 and 255. The for loop begins by listing the first 10 memory locations with their contents and then the serial monitor pauses through these statements where the user is asked to enter any integer number. Once the number is entered the listing continues until we reach the last memory location, which is 1023. Now let's run the code and observe the serial monitor. As you can see, the EEPROM memory size is 1024 bytes, and the content of memory locations from 0 to 9 is integer 255. This is the default value from factory settings. Now we enter an integer number and continue with the listing of the memory locations until we reach location 1023, which will have a value of 255. In this next demo, we will write to the first 10 memory locations of the EEPROM some integer numbers. The writing is done by using this uh, function here, the write function of the EEPROM. So this parameter i would be the address you want to write to, and here this parameter would be the byte or the 8-bit number you want to store in that memory location. Now let's run the code and store 10 integer numbers into the first 10 memory locations of the EEPROM. And now let's run this code and check the contents of the first 10 locations of the EEPROM. As you can see, starting from address 0, we are storing the integer byte 0, and then 2, 4, even integers up to memory location 9. In this next example, we will control an LED using pulse width modulation. 
from data stored within the EEPROM. Inside the setup function, we'll use a for loop to access 100 memory locations of the EEPROM. Inside the loop, we'll first read the pot value and convert it into an 8-bit number, and then store it into a memory address of the EEPROM. Meanwhile, while the loop is running, a red LED will indicate the recorded value. Once the writing is done, inside the loop function, we'll use another for loop to access the 100 memory locations. And then, using this statement, send the value in that memory location to the uh, playback uh, LED. In a future video, external EEPROM AT24C256 will be used to control a stepper motor. Thank you for watching.